back and then we die. In it, put him to the side, let me slide. Hey, hey, angels, it's your girl, Touch by Ty Harco, a.k.a. Talks with Ty. It's your girl, Ty. Um, welcome back if you're returning, and welcome home, Angel, if this is your first time joining us. So today, we are going to do a full walkthrough empty apartment tour. Let me start off by saying, y'all, we have some discrepancies in this apartment. This is why it is taking me about four days before I was even able to record this for you guys as you can see here i'm starting in the foyer at the front door um this is raw footage okay so nothing is edited out because i also want to be able to use this as a video recording for how my unit looked when i moved in all right let me start by saying this is no slack to this management company i really do feel like i was forgotten about this is a huge huge development a huge property like i get it but i just don't think that a proper walkthrough was done for me and unfortunately it's showing so this is not just for me to show my viewers my subscribers but this is also a recorded dialogue for me and just in case i you know, management needs to know, they need to kind of see this. So as you can see, I've come up the steps. I have these beautiful indentions on my steps that I absolutely love to put decor. I just showed you guys the pantry that sits at the top of the stairwell for the kitchen. The pantry is very nice sizing. It's absolutely, it's just what I need for, um, for me to store my items, you know, things that I have within my kitchen. So the pantry is great size. Moving right along into the kitchen, I absolutely love the decor. We have the espresso style wood cabinetry with the stainless steel finishing. I love it. <clears throat> let, me, let me be completely honest. When I say that, I absolutely love the kitchen. Because it is small, they really made this space work. We have very clean white black backsplash on the walls behind the um stove and on the kitchen counter going around to the sink we have a stainless steel refrigerator with ice maker you have your built-in microwave absolutely love it <clears throat> and uh, i love my kitchen um i love how it's laid out i love how it fits the home okay so i'm gonna be very honest throughout this walkthrough throughout this apartment tour no cut cards again i haven't even i'm not going to edit this footage at all this is raw footage coming moving right along into this kitchen sink y'all absolutely love this sink. this sink is beautiful it's deep um i just love it i've never really seen a sink like this so they call it a barn style sink absolutely love it as you can see again the kitchen is fully finished with stainless steel appliances um, you have in this particular floor plan as you can see i have a little bar area um, that can overlook into my dining room okay into the things that i absolutely love y'all this floor plan has a office and if you've been following me for a while you know i have a t-shirt business this is perfect for me to make my office. You guys know that I go live. I uh, do my live podcast. So this is absolutely beautiful. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm sorry about that. I absolutely love the fact that I have a room 
designated for that. Being off from the kitchen really doesn't bother me too much. It's cool. As you can see, um, it has the two windows in it. I guess these will be base style windows. They're not floor to ceiling, but they are mid length windows and they give absolutely amazing sunlight. So I love that. Moving back out into the top of the stairwell where you enter, I have this amazing open floor plan. Okay, this is my dining room space. More than enough space for me to put my two bar stools and my dining room set. Um, enough wall space for me to add decor. I absolutely love that. As you can see, this unit has not been painted fully and it needs to be. Um, so this is again, purpose of me not editing, documenting raw footage. I have a powder room on this floor that sits under my stairwell going up to the top level. Absolutely love that. Um, again, some painting needs to be done and it just hasn't. Um, moving right along into this beautiful open floor plan of my living room space. It comes with the vaulted and arch ceiling ways. I just, listen, I love the place. I love the place. I hate that it wasn't properly prepared for me to move in, but I do love this unit. And not only the unit, I absolutely love the community. It's clean, it's nice, and I like that. Um, so this is going to be where my uh, living room space is it comes with a ceiling fan again I want to call those bay windows those aren't necessarily floor to ceiling um, for the purpose of security I'm not going to show you guys my balcony um, but I do have a very small balcony it would fit two chairs and a table and that's what's going to go out there um, I have a fireplace and I absolutely adore and love that. So again, this is a full look of this open floor plan. As you can see, y'all, uh, and this is no shade to the apartments. These people have really tried to make things right with me. Um, but these are beautiful apartments. They're beautiful apartments. Um, going right up the steps. As you get to the top of the steps, we will be greeted by the master bedroom, which will be my bedroom. Throughout this unit, the previous tenant, um, I'm not sure if they had animals or kids or what happened, but there are some spots that you'll see on the carpet that are heavily stained. Again, this is raw footage, documentation, because I have pets and I don't want my pets to be blamed for anything that was here with us arriving into the space. So this is your master bedroom. It comes with a bump out for the bay windows and I absolutely love that. Kind of gives the room some dimension. As you can see here, I have a ceiling fan. It's carpeted wall to wall. Um, and y'all, I love the layout of this bedroom. I'm excited about it. I can't wait to decorate it. Um, it's just beautiful. I love windows. If you know me, then you know I love natural lighting. It has this vaulted ceilings, very high ceilings. Um, I really love this bedroom. Coming in, I have my own linen closet. These are some things that I've already put in here. So just look past those. Enough space for a linen closet. And then um, I also have a private bathroom. I have a double sink um, with vanity. And I absolutely love that. I have this beautiful, large mirror. Um, and you see me here. I didn't want to put myself in the video because I look a hot mess, but hey, y'all. Um, it has the medicine cabinetry. Um, again, beautiful sinks throughout this home. Um, I, again, I've never really seen sinks this large and they're absolutely gorgeous. I love them. Um, I have a shower bathtub combo um i will be switching out the shower heads or let me say upgrading my shower heads and my tub does have jacuzzi jets in it throughout my bathroom i have the same type of cabinetry that espresso dark brown chocolate cabinetry with the stainless steel finishing again i have the shower and jacuzzi style tub combo um that's me showing y'all that. So I do have the jets in my tub. Um, and then I also have my closet that is located in my bathroom. 
Now, this closet is not as big as I would have liked it to be, but I don't have much stuff, so I'm not complaining. But I would have liked my closet to be a little bit bigger, um, being as though this is the master suite. And if two people were supposed to be in this closet, child, I don't know how that would have worked, but yeah, luckily it's just me. Um, another feature that I like about my suite or my bathroom um, is that my toilet has a separate room. So I do like that. Y'all look how small this closet is, no shade. It's a small closet, but we're gonna make do because I'm coming from a place that had closets smaller than this. So I am grateful, okay? I'm totally grateful. Again, it's just me. Now if it's you and another person, I don't know how y'all gonna make that closet work. You might wanna look at another floor plan. Um, but like I was saying, onto the toilet, I have a private toilet room in my bathroom and I can appreciate that, um, you know, keeping the things that belong in the bathroom inside of the toilet part of the bathroom. So that's great. Absolutely love that. As you guys can see, I've been living in here for a couple days. Um, today is currently July the 4th and I'm filming this before I return back to the DMV to DC tomorrow. So I wanted to make sure that I got an apartment tour out. Coming back out my room, we're greeted with the long hallway that stretches throughout the home. As you walk down, you're greeted with the second bedroom, okay? So this is the second bedroom, and as you can see, here's one of those stains. This is after having the carpet professionally clean. So I don't know what the deal is with that, but we're gonna make it work. It's cool, ain't no, I'm not, you know, complaining. I'm going to do what I need to do, but I just wanted, again, to have raw footage, full documentation of what this unit looks like. So, they they are aware, and they may be changing the carpet out in these rooms. I also have a full stain in my room that you don't see because the air mattress is on over top of it. But, as you can see, I think they may be changing my carpet out while I'm gone. They definitely have me on the paint list to repaint my entire unit. So they're trying to right the wrong, and that's all that I can ask for. Again, this is not a throw this rental company under the bus. Um, I'm not even gonna say where I live. If you know, please do not comment, just keep it to yourself. Uh, because uh, at the end of the day, these people are trying to right the wrongs, mistakes get made. I get it, right, I get it. So this is the closet for this second bedroom. Um, it's okay. Um, Y'all, my last house didn't have closets this big, so they're cool, you know what I'm saying? This is a second room. Um, my best friend could possibly be staying in here. Um, the room is a nice size room. It has, again, that bay window, uh, that mid wall size, the window, and yeah. Coming down, this, I'm gonna be going into the rear bedroom, and this is where um, my son will be staying. Y'all, his room is absolutely large, larger than life. Um, his closet, he has the biggest closet in the house. Like, I don't know how they did that, but he got a big closet and he got a nice ass room. So stepping into his room, um, he has the door and you come in and, um, as you can see, he has a very nice size bedroom. He does have the most of the vaulted ceiling because of where he sits on the house with one window, okay? So as you can see where this sits, I am going to change the lighting out. I'm going to purchase some inexpensive ceiling fans because everywhere I move, I like ceiling fans throughout my home, okay? So this is Texas, Texas and it's hot. All right, so he will have a ceiling fan in that second room. I will also be putting a ceiling fan. Yes, it's an upgrade, but it's one worth having throughout the year. Living in a place as hot as Texas, you need ceiling fans in your home to constantly keep that air circulating through. Now, this is raw footage again of me in his closet. Do y'all see this closet? You can live in this closet. This thing is huge. So this is his closet. I don't even know how he's gonna fill that thing up. I might be using a bottom shelf up in there. I don't know, but again, spacious rooms, wall-to-wall -wall carpeting, y'all. It's truly big. Everything is bigger than Texas. Believe the hype, okay? Um, here's a disclaimer. I love my home. 
I love it. I love how it's built out. I love what it looks like. Um, I love the bathrooms. I love the finishing. It's just unfortunate that I guess I was forgotten about in the weeds as far as ensuring that the unit was completely ready to move and ready for me. The good part about it is when I moved down here, y'all, y'all know my, my move date, my actual move date got pushed back. So I didn't come with any furniture. So to God be the glory that this gives them time to go in and fix the discrepancy. So when I come back with my furniture, my home is at a place that I deserve and it's meeting a standard in which it needs to meet in order for me to move in. So that is the beauty about this. Again, this is not a bash the rental company. This is me touring you guys, allowing you guys to see my empty home, but also creating a very true and raw footage of how this home is when I moved in. One area that I did have some questions about was my laundry room because it just wasn't up to par and you're gonna see why. This is after touch up paint. So when I first came in here, the condition of the laundry room was slightly worse than this. Um, as you can see me here, I'm just trying to figure out where the lighting is. Y'all, I'm still learning the lights in the house. So I, I do find the lighting, but you're gonna see the wall where the washing machine hookup is. And that wall probably needs some attention to detail. They do know about it and they are gonna come in and fix it. But we have some hard water stains on the wall. So before I put a washer in here, I just wanna make sure that they tend to that. This is the side where the dryer is gonna go. Outside of that, you know, that attention to detail, just wanting them to make sure that it's safe and that uh, there are no major issues or anything that I will be left with. Um, so again, that's the purpose of this. My laundry room also has my hot water heater in. They were working on my hot water heater. They had to turn my hot water on. So I'm going to get a completely new build out. Uh, maintenance told me that he didn't like the way that that was left. So again, something else that will be done while I am away. All right. So this is the full apartment. This is my full upstairs. Um, and this is going to conclude my uh, empty apartment tour. Uh, leave your comments and all that good stuff at the bottom. I'll get back to y'all, but yeah, I'm home. 